Dwight and I are going out. He will return later, but I will not. I will also be taking a personal day tomorrow and perhaps the next day. Do you want me to ask where you're going? No. Great. Dwight will be driving me deep into the Pennsylvania wilderness, oh. where he will then leave me to either die or to survive. The choice is yours. This is what a true survivor man does. You simulate a disaster, like a plane wreck. You can only wear the clothes that you have on, and you can only use the stuff that you have in your pockets. Now, in this case, this disaster is a serial killer, creepy guy who has abducted me and is taking me out into the wilderness to leave me for dead. No, I would never leave you for dead. You would never escape. Well, yes, I would, and I would survive. I would make sure that you were dead. No. Believe me, then I would remove your teeth and cut off your fingertips so you could not be identified. You... And they would call me the overkill killer. You are, as, you are as creepy as a real serial killer. For real. Okay. What are you doing? I am putting this on so I have no familiarity with my surroundings. Now this way, I can't retrace my steps. I don't know what streets we've been... Ow! What are you doing? It would be better if you were unconscious. No, Here. God! Oops. Dwight, stop it! Stop what? it! Stop it! Do you want to do this right Just or not? Please allow me to have one cathartic experience in my life. As good a spot as any. What are you doing? Stop it. Just I'm stop just it. stop it. Spin. I'm trying to confuse your sense of direction. Behold. All right, good. Thank you, Joyce. Here's your knife. Thank you. And here's your duct tape. Good. good. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. Yep. Good luck. Michael. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. Okay. Leave me be, Dwight. Day one, I'm in the interior of the vast Pennsylvania wilderness. I've brought with me only the bare essentials, a knife, a roll of duct tape, in case I need to fashion a shelter or make some sort of water vessel. It's hot today. The sun is in the two thirds easterly quadrant, which would make it about Two o'clock in the afternoon, really beating down on me now. I think that I want to get a little more comfortable because the sun is depleting my resources. Okay. That is, oh, there we go. Watch that I don't hit my corroded artery here. I lied to Michael. I said that I would leave him alone, but I will not. I will remain close by to provide unseen support, but I will never help him. I will let harm befall him. I will even let him die, but I will never let him lose his dignity. I am totally alone right now with only my thoughts. I love it. I'm loving it. I can literally say anything I want. No one is going to hear me. Wish I could have gone with Ryan on that cool retreat! Get us plastic boobs! I have hemorrhoids! Doesn't even matter. Well, if you take a look at this, I tented my pants. I've made myself a nice pants tent shelter. And this little guy may be Dunder Mifflin paper someday. Nothing to worry about, just using the scope. Safety is on. Under this tree, I think I struck the mother load. Those are nature's best mushrooms. Wild, and I have to say, these little buggers are damn tasty as well. Mm. Ah, no! 